Twitch chat confesses their sins. Oh, this chick. Oh, I've seen her before. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, there he is. Hey, money worthy. Damn, brother is tall as shit. What the f <laughs> Welcome to the first and possibly last confession stream. This idea kind of sucks on paper. I'm sorry if this offends you, but I'm not sorry. This is the whole stream. God bless. Hey, God bless, chat. God bless. <laughs> so tonight, chat, if you're uninformed, you will have the opportunity to come on stream and confess your sins. Oh, God. <laughs> what an idea. What an idea. Yeah. Let's take a call from chat. You suck. Ooh. Hello, Damn. young man. What are your sins? What? <laughs> well, not exactly a young man. Didn't ask. You're live with Father Wubby. So this one time at a TGI Fridays, I, uh, I was in the bathroom. I was about 12 years old at the time. And uh, mm -hmm. there was a man taking a fat shit in there, I got to say. Mm -hmm. And... On my way out, I accidentally hit the lights, and I, I didn't go back for him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go back for him, Wubby. I mean, that's <laughs> truly deplorable. <laughs> Why would you... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, Father, what do I do? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello, God. Father. Forgive so, me for I have said. What the fuck? What you do? <laughs> when I was uh, 14 to 16, mm. um, in that age, mm. whenever my parents would uh, piss me off, uh -huh. or I felt like they pissed me off, I would go into the shower and I would ejaculate into their conditioner. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> what? what? <the> fuck? <laughs> and he put his face on it. Is that true? It's not something I'm proud of, but it's something that happened. There is no okay. way. Take chat. Take the 7,000 people who are here, including me, mm -hmm. Pope mm -hmm. Wubby. We are in a 14-year-old shower, okay? Oh, you God. have a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said it. You have a heart on. Yeah, you are no, about... I mean, you're right. You're about to come. What do you do? You reach over, I'm assuming, to the conditioner? No, the conditioner bottle has already been, like, uncapped. I'm, like, right about there, you know? Just grab it and go... It doesn't make that sound usually, but <laughs> usually, okay. Usually, you, I mean, fuck, dude, we've been there. We've that's, all yeah, been that's, there. That's that's another hair layer just for that right there, for sure. Oh, now, now, you ever think that there was a there's a very very, albeit small, and you know I'm gonna do some hail mayors for even speaking this, but do you ever think that there was a small chance that you could have got your mom pregnant depending oh, on what you with that bottle? Oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there, brother. He <laughs> dodged a fucking dodged huge bullet, bullet my guy. <laughs> you know what? That's that's that Hell Mary's cut in half for that. We actually Thank the Lord. Ba Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen's in chat, guys. Alright, so that's uh fifteen Hail Marys. Fifteen. Okay. That's fifteen. <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> chat, feel free to call. <laughs> Hello? Oh shit. Fuck. I choked that one. I choked that one. <laughs> this is Father Bubby. I I need to confess a sin, Father. I worked at a grocery store in my teenage years. I won't get specific. There was this one girl. Are you familiar with the term gumping it? Uh, Father Wubby is it? not familiar with the term uh, gumping. gumping it. What so gumping is it is when no someone idea. is not quite retarded. <laughs> <laughs> They're like just on that line. So while it's an ethical conundrum, it's not fucking a retarded person if you were to sleep with them. This will come in point sure. later in the story. She worked in the bakery. And to cut to the chase, because I've already taken a minute of your time, Father. You're good. I fucked her ass in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got in a fight with me because I was his stupid younger brother. And boy, was I really upset at him. And so when 
everyone was gone from the house, I snuck into his bedroom, pulled the pillow out of its case, came on the pillow, oh, put it back in, and flipped it over. <laughs> what is wrong with his viewers? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's God. That's a hundred Hail Marys. Did he ever discover that uh, you came into his pillow? Oh One, no. Two. He only washed his shit like once a year, maybe. Oh my god! Oh my god. So it was there for a a while. Man, you couldn't point a gun at me to get that out of me. I didn't know what to say to him. I'm gonna keep it real. It's group prayer time. I don't understand what it is. Like, with how the fuck? Uh, 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 how? <laughs> <laughs> what makes someone do that? And that's that's no. what, the second or third one already. <laughs> Jesus, it's young boys who are angry, but it appears to be y'all just turned to coming into objects. <laughs> this is now the yeah. second or third story we've had where you're mad at something as a teenager, so you just come into an object the next person to come you're not getting hell marys you're going to hell <laughs> this is father wubby <laughs> forgive me father for i have sinned what is your sin well to preface this a little bit my younger brother of five years oh, has God. down syndrome oh. uh, he was very like well known for hiding things um uh -oh. so around christmas and birthday uh I would steal his money. N Bro, are you shitting me? I think this one's straight to hell. That's probably the worst thing I've yeah. heard. Can you twerk in that? Oh. <laughs> oh, God, not this one. Can oh, we get a no. better angle? Like, right here? That's better. Father, forgive me for I've sinned. This is a story that I uh, have never told anyone. Mm. When I was 15, my autistic brother and I were playing Xbox when he lost in a game and uh -huh. decided to smash my controller, oh. uh, uh -huh. causing irreparable damage. And I mean, it's a $60 controller, you know, mm. big, big deal. And when you're a kid, but right, you don't have When money. you're 15, no job. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Now I, now I can't play Xbox. Mm-hmm. So, in exchange for breaking my controller as well as several other crimes he committed against me, uh, I wiped my filthy ass on his towel every time I took a shit for five years. What the <laughs> f- <laughs> Oh my and, god. And... No, no, no. That's an autistic child. My <laughs> god, what the fuck is wrong? He's the same age as me. How old no, are you? No, no. I'm 21. Okay. Wait, so you only stopped this a couple of years ago? <laughs> <laughs> what? It would be last year. What the fuck? Oh my god. Bro, this is the most horrible thing that's been said on stream tonight. Look at that smile! Why are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, you wiped your bro, shitty bro, ass look. for five years. That at that point, that just became a habit. That wasn't even revenge. <laughs> that was just I do this now. <laughs> All right, dude. I think you know where this is going. There is no hail marys that could save you. That is that you. Congratulations. I think you're our first straight to hell, my guy. Anything you want to say? <laughs> I'm I'm a furry, so it's okay. okay. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> okay. It's kind of fun sending people to hell. I see why God's been doing it. Yeah, it just smites motherfuckers. Yeah, no jokes. I'm. Uh, this is real, man. I'm trying to absolve people of sins here tonight. This is Father Wubby. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Father Wubby. Oh shit! What's up, man? Um. I would like to confess my sins. So when I was younger, uh, I was experimenting, you know? Yeah. And I used to, um, oh my fuck. I used to take hot dogs and I used to put them in the microwave for a oh. little bit or not and um, <laughs> use them. And then I didn't know where to throw them. What do you mean and by so use them? 
Um, just, Father Bobby, please. This is, <laughs> this is very, this is hard for me to talk I'm, about. I'm just not um, fully understanding what you're saying. I, I use them to, um, you know, p- pleasure myself. Um, wow. and it was dumb. It was so dumb. I feel so bad about it, but the thing is, is I did not have anywhere to, uh, throw them afterwards. Um, so the screen came off my window, and it was a busy street that people used to walk by all the time. Uh-huh. And I used to just chuck the hot dogs that I used out of the window and onto the street. And then my mom one day, she asked me where all the hot dogs <laughs> were coming from. Because <laughs> she saw one on the street. Have you guys ever met a girl that's done that before? No. <laughs> who who does that? No. Damn. So I'm the only one. <laughs> huh? So okay. okay. <clears throat> So, you know, in middle school, um, you know, the uh, there's a lot of sexual tension or where I, I went to school. So I was, you know, I was talking to this one lady and, you know, we were flirting. We we're going back and forth, back and forth. And let's say a spicy scenario happened where we both were talking freaky and um, uh, she sent me a video. I was like, oh, shit. OK, I get a video. And then I saw the video. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh! Uh, she was uh, uh, sitting, uh, legs open, and then I saw a glizzy. <laughs> uh, and she used the glizzy on herself. And me being a middle schooler, me being a uh, 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 lot of sexual tension, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I was like, okay, she's a she's a freak. I fuck with her. So yeah. <laughs> Later on, sure. I uh, let's just say we I, I had fun. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I guess Thank I'm the you only for one. Sharing with y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the only one. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> That's Bobby. crazy. In middle school, I was still took learning how to double knot my shoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Was a freak. <laughs> Hello, young man. Oh God. Oh, God. Uh, bless me, for I have sinned. A long I time ago, when I was a, oh, a better Catholic, I observed God in a much better light. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to be a peer ministry leader. Another peer ministry leader. She had been dating when a I kid that I was sort of friends with, not really. Uh, one day, this, this will come in importance later. <laughs> one day. Uh, that kid and I were hanging out, and he had a Vushigi. Are you familiar Ooh. with what a Vushigi is? The balls? Yeah, those, like, yeah. balls yeah. where they, like... Oh, you know, those. You know, you know poop while we fuck with those. Um, and one day he had come over, and he had left his Vushigi in my car. Mm. Um, and so, a couple months go by, um, that other peer ministry leader, the female that he was dating, had left him. Um, and she had started to... Um, as people put it, come on to me. Mm. And one night, she had forgotten to get a car ride to our peer ministry meeting, um, and I had volunteered as the good Catholic boy that I am to take her home. (laughs) So, in the church parking lot, she came into my car, and we were conversing a bit, um, and that had turned into... A little bit more of a frisky conversation between mm. her mouth and my lower waist region. Mm. That's, um, you suck. And <laughs> as she was making motions, as one does as those events are happening, mm-hmm. I look over to the passenger side of my car and I see the Vushigi on the floor on the passenger side of the car. And I reach down and I grab the Vushigi oh. and I start doing little floaty thing where you like move it between your hands and make it look like it's floating mm-hmm. so and and father as i was playing with this fushigi as she was giving me this uh, head as the kids call it 
um, I had come to realize that the Bushigi was much more interesting, and I had a much better time <laughs> playing with the Bushigi than receiving her, her head. I was very distracted, I'm gonna be honest. I was having a much better time making that shit float in my hand, Damn. that was crazy. I was so yeah. good at that stuff, I was making it like go down my arm a little bit, but I couldn't make it go too far, because then it would right. like go close to her head. Of course not, you don't want to disturb yeah. that, right? You're just, and you're no, no, yeah. Thing. Wow. Of course, yeah. She, I don't know if she was cool with it. I think she, she probably didn't was, know. She probably when she, she didn't know. when she caught a glimpse of it, she probably became very insecure that this man is playing with a ball instead of uh, enjoying the dome. <laughs> that has got to be Alex, the most on the nose what I would have expected from Chat Story I've ever heard. <laughs> All the horrible fucked up shit and this. The, yeah, so I was getting dome for the first time in my life. I was getting blown. My brain was getting. <laughs> And I found a cool little desk toy. No no oh, baby. <laughs> Hello, young man. Oh, God, here we go. Hello, daddy. <clears throat> yeah. Father, I am guilty of several sins. What are those sins, my young son? I was in eighth grade, and I was in choir class because I have a beautiful voice. And I had a uh, solo coming up with two fellow classmates, mm -hmm. and so I asked the teacher, may we use the side room for practice? Mm -hmm. And he said, of course. And in the side room, there were instruments and cases, and on the corner, there was a young woman's white coat. And we were, that's interesting, maybe she forgot it. So the next day, and the next day, we came back, and the coat was still there. Mm -hmm. And after a week, I don't know what possessed me to do so, but we suggested why don't we urinate on it for fun? Wow. And so we wow. did. And we continued to do every day for the next two months was <laughs> urinate on that. Yeah. It got to the point where it was so saturated with <laughs> urine that we had to take it and put it <laughs> in an empty base case. Oh. And up until the day of the concert. <laughs> <laughs> we continue to urinate on it. <laughs> and so it stayed that way in that case and we forgot about it. We we didn't touch it anymore after the concert. It became a distant memory. Until the last day of eighth grade of choir class, everyone was milling about doing their thing. And I'm like, how about for old times sake? <laughs> <laughs> So I went in the room, and I opened up the case, and Father Wubby... Oh <laughs> the smell! <laughs> was so... It was the most horrendous, offensive, foul aroma I have ever He's to this crying. day smelled, and it haunts me. <laughs> To this day in my dreams, and I humbly, I humbly ask for your forgiveness, Daddy. Uh, yes, yes, my son, yes, of course. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Y'all ruined the case, too. I know. <laughs> it does pain me to say, but I do believe this one falls under straight to hell. <laughs> Please, Father, no. uh, okay. And I think that. I'm such a sweet, empathetic boy. I've done so much good since then. He does seem then. sorry. He seems sorry he... And he also I've done have so to much since then to atone. He did, I, he did I'm have so to smell. sorry. 100 Hail Marys, take it or leave it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, go. dude. That was actually fire as fuck. Yeah, that was hella funny. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta check out it. his shit uh, later on. Yeah, he has a video <laughs> where he like... Uh, here, let me find it. Um...